Well, round results, hey, the head-to-head -head squad, the people squad are sliding, unfortunately, and my team is on the improve, so that's very good news on that front, but yeah, overall, not great in terms of those first two teams, with Cook being in the squad as captain in the head-to-head -head squad and as uh, vice, well, not vice, but not just a normal player in the people squad, DC is captain in that one, but both teams having to play 16, unfortunately, which is very, very hurtful. Obviously, people scored we traded out Reed for for Damien, but this one we only had Cookie as cover uh, for the entire the entirety of well, the last well most of the season actually. To be honest with you, so yeah, unfortunately for us we get the fifty five. So Papali is captain. I didn't have Hines, so I missed out on ten points there. Not ideal. Did have Hosking in there at seventy one, which was great, but a bunch of low scores in terms of Frizzell or Fengawek were uh, big hurtful numbers there. I did go for the loop on Collar. And didn't play for Talamara for the 55. But other than that, really, you got Teddy, Hines, and Garrick down below, which was great. No Pap, very, very helpful there. Didn't play Curdy Falls in the end because I uh, looped Cola. So good result. Nice score from Torhul. Great trade in for Munster. So there's a few good things and a few poor things in there. We will make some trades from here on in. But generally, sitting at 246 in the overall rank now. Not ideal. We will jump into our little leagues there and check them out and see how they're going. Did get a, a nice loss, only 921 for us. So the head to head thrillers is that my toughest league. We'll actually jump in and check that. Considering I'm fifth now, there's a few things I need to improve to get me back up this ladder. So this one is obviously the best league I'm in when we've got guys like Kyle Lomas, Eddie Durham. Um, from the guys I do know, just straight off the names there. And they're all doing well. 12 and 4 for Maddie L up top. Moved down to fifth now, so eight and eight, which I'm on the same in the same position as a bunch of these guys. I've actually lost four in a row, which is wow. So it was eight and four pumping it, and have been sliding the last bunch of weeks. So we definitely need a bounce back here to get into that top four finals, and, and make it a lot easier, yeah, for us than rather than having to face um, you know a tougher a tougher out a tougher assignment the first couple of weeks of that league. So that's interesting on that front. For those that are playing head-to-head, -head, let me know in the comments where you are at currently. But overall, apart from that, we're sitting fine. You know, third in this league, which is solid. Got pumped by Dent, who is a, a clear top contender to actually win the whole competition, which is cool. But uh, that's that there on the head-to-head -head front. We will look at the overall rankings now as well in one second. I'll get us there before we jump in and have a quick look at what potential trades we might make. Because sitting there with 327 in the bank and four remaining, we're definitely going to have a push to... Uh, See what we can do over the next few weeks. And and Will Ennis uh, clearly in the lead again, 1,038, which is a lovely score here. We did captain at DCE. Did have Pap in the team as well. So some really, really good scoring. Picking up Latrell Mitchell was great. And had uh, obviously Joey Manu there. But no, no, um, what am I thinking of? No Garrick, for example, but Manu instead, which is good. And yeah, still off Angawi, Robson and Hughes and still getting a big score like that. Shows that, you know, and Frizzell. So Really, it doesn't take too much to get these big scores. So what well unto Will for being able to hold on to that top spot this week with a, a nice 1,038, 985 for, for Lee there, who we haven't seen too much up there until the last couple of weeks. Sammy with 1,029, Matty H with 1,004. Lucan's been up there for a good while. Joshy with 969, it's not the best, but we've got Pete G there, 960 odd. Will with 1,036, 1,053. So nice move up for, for this squad here. And yeah, you know, Captain Hines over DCE. Yeah, you know, it's just still these teams, guys. They have Pap, Savage, you know, King, Mam, some decent scores, but you know, Hughes are there. But nothing crazy. You got Robson 45. So it just shows that you you're not too far away from from some of these good teams and, and just sneak down to the top 20 there. So well done to everyone that's still here. Big drop from Hugger Clan, unfortunately, the last few weeks. 972 down into 18th in the rankings. So that's that there. We'll move into Checking out what I might want to do. So heading into around 19, there's 327 in the bank. Four trades remaining. Cook's going to be back, which is great. Toto's going to be back. Also good. The question here from now on is, do, do we move on Hughes onto a onto a Cleary straight up? Can we even? Oh, we can't even do that now. <laughs> Short by one. We're going to have to make two trades. So the question from here now begins as to, do we get like a Dewey or Latrell? Can we downgrade someone? You're probably not looking to, unless Hosking manages to sneak a, a starting position there because we do have the three cash outs now with him, Falsey, and Chris Lewis. The biggest question now is what do we do with someone like Frizzell? 
because pricing wise, we're going to struggle to pick up what's for sale five six nine. What can we get, Mr. Adam Dewey? What is he at now? I see him in there. I have to search him, Mr. Dwahi. 522, okay, so we go Frizz to, to, to Dewey, to be honest with you, that could be a solid one. You could go like a Hughes down as well, and that would allow us to get up to Cleary. Could be interesting, we have Adam as obviously isn't covering the fullback position, which we don't really need, to be honest with you. We got Ted Hines, Garrick, and Toto. We probably want some cover in the, in the hooking position would be ideal. Yeah, maybe we try and get to a Harry Grant eventually. Do we get it this week? We probably want Cleary for the remainder of the season, to be honest with you. So a few things to think about there. In terms of other trade outs, we have the, the cover and cola. Do we continue playing like a May? Do we try and get back to Aiken? A few things to potentially do here, but do we have enough capital available to be able to do it? Do we go for DCE instead of Cleary, who's obviously they're 100K cheaper, and we can use that extra cash to, to upgrade a few other things, get a decent hooker. Uh, on top of Cook, for example, do we try and get Murray? So a few things there to try and think about. Cotter could be an interesting one in the next few weeks. He might be named this week. So that's that in terms of head Ted squad. We'll jump into my team and then get into the people squad further from there. We've had some big improvements in my squad. And unfortunately, this week did bring in Damien Cook, popped him as captain, but I did have the cover holding on to Reed Marnie with the 55. So very happy with his output. And considering he's been getting that mid to high 40s on a regular basis. So very happy that I could have him as cover in that position, which was great. And then get Ezra's score of 47, and I had the vice on Heinz. So it wasn't too bad. Obviously would have liked a, a score from Cook to be able to pick it up a 1,038 or a, something like that would be ideal. But a decent at round 18 rank and drops us into 1,274. So a couple of weeks ago, we were 2,500, just under 2,500. Moved down to, what, 1,593 last week and down to 12. 74 in this one, which is really, really cool. Happy with the efforts. The, the interchange was terrific. A low score of 54 out of those guys. Playing Palisir for 41 was fine. Brown and Hughes is where we need to have a little bit of an upgrade, I believe. Having Joey Manu, Teddy, and also Hines down the bottom there. Cola and Burton. Yeah, Cola's doing a good job in there. Obviously not as good as what Aiken did. We did move him on a bunch of weeks ago, but is what it is there. We played Hosking, probably he's in there. So overall, really happy with the output. We're gonna play Cleary instead of Palacia. Heading into next week, uh, we've got our three cash outs, but we do have the, the three trades remaining heading into next week. Hopefully Tamalola can actually, you know, actually score that try next week. And a few things we could do in terms of getting some cover for the wing fullback, the halves position, we could downgrade to an Adam Dewey and upgrade elsewhere. Guys we are looking at this week include Cam Murray. Guys like Ruben Cotter, I'm very interested in. So yeah, 758 for him isn't the worst thing ever. We have 61 in the bank. We won't be able to do any downgrades just for the fact that we have uh, not enough in the bank. Obviously if Hosking gets another game or two, whether it's on the bench, we can get him to maybe 400 and we could downgrade him to a cheapie who's not gonna be playing and uh, do an upgrade elsewhere. But with three trades, we'd probably want about five or six to be able to do something like that if we're being honest there uh, heading into the next few weeks. So yeah, just really happy with how my team's been set up the last few weeks uh, and almost beating my head-to-head -head score by 100 points considering I'm uh, at a way worse team value and overall rank. So yeah, happy with that. From the squad, really not much else to talk about. The, the guys we're looking to trade out really uh, are just the, the issue with the Hughes and the, and the Brown and probably making an upgrade in the center. One in the centers, one in the halves. And mids and mids and edges is pretty full at the moment with guys like Toho, Crichton, Elliot. Uh, got the cover for hooker. So really happy with that. We'll bring Cleary back in, pop him as captain. I think we're, we're, we're setting up a lot better than we were, that's for sure. So we'll move on to the people squad now, which had a few issues and an actual technical issue when I tried to change one of the, uh, the, edge, uh, the, the interchange guys. Um, considering there was a late change to Matamua. Sorry, to the people score, guys. All right, go on. Tear Shred's office, 930 this week. No cover for Cook with a very poor trade of Reed to Cook, unfortunately. And I tried to change Matamua for Savage, and it didn't work pre-game, about 10 minutes before. I asked in the group chat. Everyone said, yep, change it quick. Let's go. Uh, didn't work. Beautiful. I don't know if you've had a random issues like that. I was just on the phone. I don't know. Usually it's fine, but... Thankfully, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. 27 points could have been a lot worse. But when he wasn't on with like 55, 60 minutes ago, I was like, I'm oh, sorry, 55, 60 minutes down. I was like, you beauty, love life. Uh, and Savage had a pretty good game against the Storm, to be honest. So, okay, we set those two things aside. 
930 is a pretty good score with two real stuff ups in terms of not having cover and, and not being able to move Manu Moore for that 27 points. But Jackson, obviously going off with the HIA, was a little bit annoying, so 45 for him, 41 for Palacio. We got the captaincy right this week with an awesome 88 by Mr. Daly Cherry Evans, which was great. We have Aiken still, Burton's there. Pat was obviously a tough trade in a couple of weeks ago. That didn't work out for us. I understand that. Um, for those that were looking at it, it was Offhand Galway or Pappenhausen and Offers had 53 and a, and a 40, so okay. Uh, but a lot better than what Pap scored, let's be honest. So we'll have to trade him out this week. We've got a plenty of options, guys like Latrell, guys like Dewey. What we want to do there, we will work that out. But heading into round 19, we're at a pretty poor rank now, 598. When I say poor, poor from where we, we were at and considering we came 150th last year. But the four trades remaining, including the four coming in round 20, we've got 74 in the bank. So we could downgrade a Pap, for example, get a Dewey or Latrell, and we could upgrade elsewhere. What we want to do with that, whether we get a Cotter, if he's back, whether we're looking to get a Cam Murray, uh, Joey Manu, these types of guys. But there's a bit of talk about Manu could be, uh, he went off obviously a tiny bit early, but there could be uh, just some cramping. We're not sure what it is with that uh, calf at the moment. We'll find out a little bit more. Whether we want to get Harry Grant back in our team. A few question marks there. We do have four in terms of uh, full cash outs as well, which is an, uh, can be a slight issue. And we're gonna have to keep some trades up our sleeve to be able to straight swap a few of those guys. But yeah, people scored this week, a little bit annoying. 598 overall rank, we need to improve that from here. Have enough trades to be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, a few things to fix up and we will do that. But I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, hope you all had a great week. Let me know if you got over a thousand. Pretty cool. If you did, you would have made some ranks and we'll catch you in the next few videos, guys. Have a great week.